Calm your mind with chakra based meditation music. Saregama Karva Wellness. Apareyam itastvanyam prakritim vidhi me param jeeva bhutam mahabaho yayedam dharyate jagat. Besides this inferior nature, O mighty armed Arjuna, there is a superior energy of mind which are all living entities who are struggling with material nature and are sustaining the universe. Here Lord Krishna clearly describes the living entity being completely different energy from matter, material energies. Apareyam itastu anyam. Anyam means it is different and apareyam. Apareyam means para means superior, apara means inferior energy. So apareyam itastu anyam. So this material energies are inferior. There is another energy which is superior and what is that? Jeeva Bhuta Mahabaho, that is the living entity which sustains the universe. The material energy cannot act, cannot do anything unless the living entity takes some action. So because of us, we are sustaining and manipulating the matter of this universe. So thus with the help of Lord Krishna, we have to understand that this consciousness that we see in this body is not the manifestation of some combination of matter. Krishna is telling, please understand the nominal world from me. What is the science? It may appear to you that the matter, when combined in certain configuration, gives rise to consciousness, but that is not fact. Just like heat and light is symptom of fire, consciousness is the symptom of another energy, which is internal energy, which is always in connection with me. And that is the living entity. Now what is the source one may ask from where all these energies are coming that Lord Krishna describes in this verse Etad yoni ni bhutani sarvani tyupadharaya aham kritsnasya jagatah prabhava pralayastatha Of all that is material and all that is spiritual in this world know for certain that I am both its origin and dissolution so Krishna is the source of all, not just spiritual energies, but even material energies. 